Hey, this is uh, a little song that we've been working on. It's me and my dad's song. And I've been like going crazy, real crazy. Trying. I'll vouch for him, he has been going crazy. No, not really. I'm just like getting all these samples and everything all working and everything sounding really good. Actually, I press that, I could record on that. That's better. So as you see, there's about a million different tracks on there. Maybe it's exaggeration. Not quite a million, but nearly. So yeah, I thought I'd just show you what I'm up to. This is the new track me and my dad are doing. We haven't even got a band name at the moment, and we've got no song name either. <laughs> so I think I'll just post this on like my site and my YouTube, you know, and all that. Here we go. Right, I'll just play a, like, a couple of little bits what we've been doing. But you'll see it's like different bass tracks, loads of them. I'm just trying to find out which one I like best. Basically, I, I intended to kind of like just randomly improvise tracks, you know, so. Each track sounds different, basically. So I can like solo tracks like here. What's really interesting is basically I've got like a, a track with line in and I've got a track recorded from the amplifier and I've basically put the two together to give a thicker sort of sound and I can choose what kind of sound I want, you know. It's quite nice that. What else is interesting is I'll just show you this if you want to know how I got all the song the tempo matched and everything sorted. Basically my dad recorded like his piano and it's those two tracks at the top there. The nice blue, all the blue tracks basically. And um, after he did that, I went in there and you see these little markers down here, I don't know if you can see that. Those ones down there. That's it. Uh, I had to put them in. Tell it basically where all the beats are. So I had to keep zooming in and then put in a marker there. Here's how you do it, right? You click there, for instance, say you want a marker there. No, you don't. No, you don't. You go like this. That's it, right. And then I can stretch that particular part of the song to wherever I want it. So usually we'd be making our music in time with the drums. Is that right? Yeah, usually the drums would be like the backbone. Yeah, that's it. The drums would be the backbone. But what we're doing here is we've been making the uh, piano the backbone, and I've been putting the drums to it, sort of thing. It started off as a piano piece that Ricky's dad, John, had done, and it was turning into quite an epic, and they decided they wanted to work together on it to make it like fuller and more of a kind of almost like prog rock kind of epic with all different sorts of parts with sort of different feelings different genres going through it and there's a lot of bits where it goes faster and then slower and so stuff so he's been having to stretch the drums to fit the piano rather than the piano playing to go along with the drums so it's been quite a so task yeah, first I had to tell Ableton that that's what I wanted, that I wanted, you know, it synced up with the drums, and then I put the drums actually in. Now down here somewhere, after about quite a lot of tracks, you can see, you start to get down to the drums here, and basically if I go in there, I've got a few different drum kits on this song. So for instance, I've got this one here, Superior Drummer, which is pretty good really. They're quite sort of realistic sounds, aren't they? Yeah, it's nice, isn't it? And sometimes I've used like a kick off a different drum kit because I might like the kick more than the other one or whatever. But I'll give you an example of how this sounds here, right? Let's choose another bit. There you go, so you can see the drums going. But midway, I can change drum kit if I want. Here we go. Like specific drums for certain parts of the song. 
bass line for me. Sometimes you can't even tell what actual part of the song it is. There's no piano. And uh, this is the funny thing about the guitar. I don't know, but I'm hoping they can hear what I'm saying, but they should be able to through this camera. This guitar is like... This is from the effect pedal, stereo. And this is from a one microphone. That's from another microphone. And that's another mic. So you put it all together. Like going round and round and it's trying to find the best bass lines and stuff. But yeah, um, unfortunately this that guitar doesn't really sound how I wanted it to sound and I have struggled trying to get the right sound on my amp. Well, I don't even own an amp at the moment, but my dad does. And it's just a small little amp, so I think like, the trouble is I'm not getting a full thick sound out of it. And I'm not sure really what to do with that. I'll have to re-record the guitar later. But very happy with like, all the bass in that. I'll show you what, the, I'll show you what it sounds like. It's about. starting to take shape a bit more, isn't it? Bit. I'm really pleased how we got the drums 
how we got the drums to sound on this. Because they really do sound like real drums. Yeah, I couldn't, have done, no, I couldn't have done this normally. They did put adverts on um, one of the band sites to try and get musicians who were interested in the project, but you didn't really have anything come of that, did you? No. See, I'm, I'm very excited about it. That's a good yeah. thing. You need to feel excited about the music. You it's really it, good, like, like now and then, like, you know, and Ricky and his dad will be, like, locked in the room together for a few hours, like, working on it, and it's really nice, because, like, they'll come out and they've both got big silly grins on their faces because they've been buzzing off how it's been coming together, so it's really nice. A father's son epic. Got the bass on. Oh, right. Yeah, that's what Yeah. 